There isn't a Lebanese here tonight that is not interested in the, the election of the president. I beg you, when you're discussing among ourselves the things that will come out of most, who is Saudi Arabia supporting? Who is Iran supporting? Who does Syria want the next president to be? Will the Americans accept? Will the French accept? We claim to be 7,000 years old. We have colonized and civilized the whole Mediterranean countries. Thousands of years before Jesus Christ. We have resisted for thousands of years. We are the only people that has been consistently on their land for over 7,000 years. Are we not ashamed to say that we are the descendants of these people? We can't put our own president? Is something wrong with us? Where have we lost it? I look here. I look everywhere I travel in the world, and I see that our people have achieved results beyond anybody's imagination. Yet we cannot force our leaders in Lebanon to cooperate together and do a simple thing like electing a president in a democratic society. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to ask you to help the Lebanese Christians in Lebanon to get back to their senses. You are citizens of the greatest country on earth. You are citizens of the United States of America. There is nobody that can influence decisions in the world more than the citizens of this country. This is what I'm asking of you. So you see, I tell you, when I stop reading, I talk too much. <laughs> Two months ago, we held in Washington a summit in defense of Christians. That is still an issue, and that is still a necessity. This could be an organization that we can gather around create our unity in the diaspora, push it into Lebanon, because we have the capacity to do it. Try to create that unity in Lebanon and work towards saving the existence of Christianity in the Middle East and particularly in, particularly in Lebanon. We have a duty to educate every Lebanese, irrespective of his religion or confession. Our country comes before anything else because it gives us what we believe in. Freedom, democracy, the right to practice any religion we want, and to, the right to live the way we want within the law. So my dear brothers and sisters, irrespective of our religion and confession, we all have a duty to save Lebanon. There is a temptation for us to believe that Christianity is over in the Middle East. That is not so. This will never be so. Our ancestors have fought for hundreds of years for this not to be so. And it is our duty to carry on this heritage. A man, if he is blessed, may develop many loves over the course of his lifetime. I love the country of my birth, Nigeria. I love the land of my parents' birth, Lebanon. I love the nation in which I speak to you now, America. 
and I have a great love that I know you here share with me for Christianity and for the Christians of the Middle East. But for Christianity to survive, we must stand together. Together we can begin to heal the wrongs of the past. Together we can see that the snow of Lebanon is never stained red, red again with blood. Together we can set Christianity where it began. Let us stand together for peace, for Lebanon, for Christianity. Thank you and God bless you all.